Hi everyone, um, today um, I had gotten several requests to kind of get a group of things that you would get um, for a puppy kit. Um, I have several items here all over the place because I just grabbed them and um, here's my little baby and she's doing good. I'm still back and forth with her name. Um, I've thought of several things and I had one name and then I got another one and I don't know but yeah. She's my baby. The other puppies were asleep and this one was up so I figured I'd grab her and just bring her along to film. Um, I'm gonna put her down so she can run around. Um, so let's get to it. Um, the items that I, the items that I basically always tell people that come and buy a dog from me are important. Um, number one is this collapsible water bottle and they sell others that are called I think a gulpy. And they have like the little bottle and it twists and then it has like kind of like a little bowl. Um, those are also handy. They sell these at PetSmart. They're from Top Paw. Um, but I recommend these because when you do start training your dog or you go to the park or on your way home, um, depending how far you live, you always want to make sure they are hydrated. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Um, it has the twist cap. You fill it up and put this back on and this is really 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 handy and convenient and they can drink from this or you can just put it kind of like in a little bowl um it says here that this one is reusable easy to design um so you can use it multiple times non-spill helps prevent backflow and then durable enough to freeze and then it has this good clip which you can Attach it like to a leaf, which I'll get to in a minute, and you just carry it. So it's super convenient. Um, that's one of the good products that I always recommend for you to have. Um, you always want to keep your dogs, puppies, cats, whatever, hydrated. Always, always for traveling, even take one of these. Um, the other thing I recommend is a dog collar a harness and five to six feet of a leash um these are all matching i got these also from um pet smart it's kind of like my go-to store except for a couple of shops in line but um these are the items that i got for her obviously this may fit her now and then the harness won't fit her yet this is an extra small and then the leash will obviously um that's good to have because you're going to want to start training them immediately. Um, but since she is so small and just keeping track of her and all that might be a little bit, you know, hard. I actually went into the cat um, section and this is kind of a little hack that I have. Um, I get these little kitten collars and this one is a little cupcake um, collar and um, these have a bell. When you have puppies and you want to keep track of them, especially a small little one like, come here, like this little girl, you always want to make sure that they have something on them so you know where they're at at all times. And I'm going to see if I can put it on her right now. Um, I just, I like to know where she's at because they're really small right now and... She's not going to work her whole life, but, you know, this just helps out know where she is. So there you go. So if you hear a little bell in the rest of the video, you know it's her. Okay, so aside from the collar, from the leash, and the harness, and the collar, I'm going to explain all three different items why. With the leash, like I said, obviously when you go to the vet or you go walking or you're training or anything, they do recommend that you have a good leash. Uh, preferably leather is the best but since she is so small um, I stuck to nylon or I guess the ones that are polyester and they're sturdy um, always kind of when you do go to the pet store tug at them and feel them out make sure that they are you know a good quality obviously she's not gonna be pulling on this all day and eventually tear it but for bigger dogs you might want to consider you know something leather um a harness 
is the best option when you do take them walking. Obviously right now since they are small, um, she's not going to fit into this unless you get like an ex extra small. Um, but these are really, really convenient. Yorkies um, and their necks, when you put a lot of pressure or anything or you pull of them, they will start making like a honking noise. So it is recommended that you do this. Some other dogs may also get that if they get too excited or they're pulling too much on a regular collar. And so it kind of like chokes them and it'll make them, you know, kind of gag and all that good stuff. And obviously you don't want that. Um, and the collar, um, if they're good on this, then maybe from time to time you can transition to walking them on a collar. A collar, the main purpose of it is to have their rabies tags and their pet ID tag on them. Um, since my dogs are indoors, they always have it on, but if they do go, but if they do go outside, then I do put in, you know, their collar so in case they do get out or anything they have their tags aside from that they have their chip and all that good stuff but basically this is more for like walking and all that good stuff and the first times it does use a collar and then the collar is you know if you want to have it on them all the time it's perfectly fun um, just for me it works when I do take them outside or anything like that and when I do take them for a walk they actually have this and then they have the harness so I don't know that's what works for me and then um, the other things are like I showed you I had gotten these Yorkie Splash and Shine products all these three items this is the conditioner the shampoo and the spray these are all travel size um, these I use them when I travel and always keep them at hand handy over my sink in the bathroom because in case they get really dirty, muddy, icky, or just their weekly groom, these are very handy. They smell really good and they're all natural. So, love them. And then next to that, I always have a comb. Um, right now that they're little, you can start with Yorkies. I started training mine to be with the top knot and a bow when their hair grows obviously a little bit longer right now. She doesn't have a lot so it would be you know kind of like torture to put a little top knot or a little bow or anything on it um, so I just leave it alone she's fussing with the collar usually when they start fuzzing just take it off let her relax from it so you okay so yeah so always have in hand a good comb um, this one I purchased it from the same company I got all the shampoos detanglers and all that good stuff from Yorkie Splash and Shine and this is an amazing comb I absolutely love it the ends are a little bit sharp so when you do brush them out just be careful on the edges and all that be very gentle as much as you can and then obviously um, these gentlest and tearless puppy wipes these are vanilla milk and honey with chamomile uh, these little wipes are basically if they get like poop stuck, you know, on the rear end or they have some little goopies in their eyes, just gently at the corners, wipe away. Um, I always recommend that you don't give a puppy a bath right away to when you get them home. And I know they get dirty fast and all that and they can get stinky, but it's something that's best to let them get used to all the elements of their environment as far as germs, the air, everything, and then give them a bath. That way their body does not go into shock or it causes them to get sick. Um, but these are really good, you know, just kind of wipe them down, clean them, and if not getting a warm wet cloth and just wiping them down and brushing them out, that always helps. And that's why a good comb with wide and small spaces is good for that. So you can just go over and then in the little smaller areas and with these wipes you got yourself a good situation the other thing um i didn't bring with me is if by any chance they get fleas because i heard from the vet that this year has been really bad um is always to give a bath to a puppy or to any dog with dawn so that actually gets rid of fleas and ticks um especially when they're puppies you cannot give them a bath with regular um flea and tick treatment shampoos unless your vet recommends it. Um, other than that, I would always suggest Dawn Soap. That is the safest way uh, for puppies. So, now on to the treats and the food. 
these treats are from Dental Authority. They're the puppy teething sticks, chicken flavor. Um, I have given these to the puppies, but I cut them into quarters. One entire little stick, let me show them to you. They are pretty small. Um, when they're older, obviously you just cut them in half. As they get older, then they can have an entire one. But since right now they're small, I cut them into quarters or just in half. And between them, they, you know, fight for it. Uh, but this I gave to Scarlett. I gave it to Akils, and it didn't give me any trouble with their teeth till probably when they were about, I want to say, a year, year and a half. That was the first time I ever took them to their teeth cleaning. Um, but it gives. This also has an extra ingredient of calcium. It keeps them healthy, so I definitely recommend this brand. And then I also gave them um, these wellness just for puppy treats, which is right here. And they come in a little yellow bag and they're small little treats. Um, they're really, really small. And um, these are really, really good and it kept my dogs healthy and holistic soft bites for good puppies a natural source of dha made with lamb salmon whole fruits and veggies you can see this has kept them healthy so i absolutely love this and then last but not least almost last um is a good little toy um i got this one at petsmart and you want to make sure that these toys are durable um they already chewed this one up so i don't really want to sew it up i never sew them back up or anything i just toss them away um but usually anything that's like this type of hard plastic or rubber is good the only downfall is a risk that they can nip off a little you know part like this and possibly swallow it so just kind of keep an eye on the toys switch them out and always introduce them to new toys so that you don't risk them possibly eating something that they shouldn't digest. Mm -hmm. The food that they eat is the Wellness Small Breed Complete Health for Puppy. And this one has deboned turkey, oatmeal, and salmon. Um, this is what I give, gave Scarlett, this is what I gave Akeels, and this is what I fed the puppies all along from the canned food to this. This is all that they have eaten throughout their whole life and it has kept them healthy and um, I'm in favor of this brand. I absolutely love it. Um, natural food for puppies with added vitamins, minerals, and terrain for well-being. Um, this has just been really, really good. And it says no meat byproducts, fillers, or artificial preservatives. So, I love it. I love, love, love this brand. I'm so, yes. Yeah. Kept my dogs healthy, beautiful coat, beautiful everything. So, definite, definite. Um, if y'all have any more questions on any of these products, let me know. Um, this is usually what I just get for the beginning. And then you might want to get like a little blanket or a little comfortable bed for them. Just to keep them, you know, comfortable. Because the first couple of nights, several nights, they will cry. It's just something normal that happens. They have a smell from their brothers and sisters or from the mother. And it is a little bit more difficult for them, you know, to associate uh, the detachment from mom and it's just kind of a little process that they have to go through so anyways if y'all have any more questions let me know thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon